Hello people, how are you guys doing? Logaji here and welcome back to another Payday 2 video and in this video I'm going to be going over a suggestion from the last video from Jason sent uh, Zalea um, who requested a pistol build and, and also just a side note, Tom Pax Gaming uh, who was the, la the, the video that I based on last video, his suggestion asked for a kind of dodge akimbo build so I was already going to go for that kind of build just to let you know so um yeah, these two people, thank you very much for the comments, I appreciate that. And uh, yeah, we're going to get right into this pistol build. So, for this video, I thought about doing kind of, I was going to do just two builds, but kind of have, uh, well, the same build, but two different aspects to it. So the first build that I'm going to show is a pistol build with Silent Killer, no Inspire, because you don't have enough to have Inspire for the build that I'm going for. So the build I'm going for is a damage build, really, so it's I'm not going to be as much use but just the damage to give her when I'm in the team so I've only put two things into technician which are a, a steady grip and lock and load so steady grip will give you more accuracy and stability and lock and load just allows you to um, run faster while sprinting I got the ace version um, just just because <laughs> um, I don't really know why I got the ace version for it. Uh, this is this is the skills I use because I've already recorded the gameplay. These are the skills that I have used for that. But what you can do, I would say, if you want to kind of um, be a support build and have the damage up, is go into combat medic and then go combat doctor. Or if you want to be another one, you could uh, uh, still be a support build. You can go for uppers, which will give you just first aid kits if someone's already taken ammo bags. So you can just pop first aid kits around the map to kill your teammates. So that's another option for this video because I wanted to just run because I could because I hadn't had parkour as well, which allows me to sprint in any direction. Hence why I took lock and load because that can allow me to shoot um, from the hip in any direction, which is really cool whilst I'm sprinting. So it still gives me that movement and I can still shoot wherever I like to. So here comes the most important skills now. So we have obviously because this is going to be a dodge build as well. So I was going to go with artful dodger skills like duck and cover, parkour, die need, and the mo last and most important, sneaky bastard. So this means that you gain 1% one, 1 dodge chance for every one point of concealment under 35 up to 10%. So that's why when I was choosing my weapons, I had to be quite careful. Um, you, you can go for these mini chims that I went for, I call them mini chims. Um, yes, it compensates, it does do less damage, but yet again with your cyanide killer, it does 64 damage. But well, the ones I went for were um, these ones, which are the normal Shimano pistols, because it just does a lot more damage. We can even go for the Deagles, but yet again, the concealment will still go up. So for, you know, damage slash um, dodge, you want to keep with either these mini chims or the normal Shimanos. And as you can see here, I'm at 45 dodge. If I was to go for the mini chims, I would be... Um, kind of still up for it. Oh, I need to take off my ballistic vest. <laughs> uh, there we go. So my dodge is 55, and if I was to go these normal ones, they're 14. There we go. I messed up a bit in my part. Sorry, my apologies. I don't think actually affects. I think the maximum you can go up to is 55. So actually, yeah, you could just go for these Chimano pistols here. Uh, for the secondary, I went for the mini deal because it does a lot of damage. Um, so does this one, but I think it has a shorter rate of fire. I'm not too sure. Um, no, they have the same, but I prefer the Baby Deagle, it's just, it's a more satisfying sound. But for those who don't have, um, the Baby Deagle DLC, which is the Point Break one, go for this one, which is, I believe, the, let me have a look at it again, because I've renamed all of my weapons, um, to max, match the builds I've gone for, so I do apologise, I'm kind of time racing. This one is the... The White Street Pistol, there we go. They've just added it recently, so yeah. It's good non-suppressed as well, um, but the best non-suppressed um, weapons are probably the Mativa or the Bronco. I did use the Bronco for the second example, which I'll show you later in the video. But either way, we're going to swack on what I used. Um, Rogue was my perk deck, but either way, we're going to go back in, because I need to show you the rest of my skills. Uh, so the Silent Killer skills were also very important for the build, so I went for second wind. So my armor breaks, my movement speed is increased by 30, but I'm using dodge, which helps a lot as well. So if I need to regen armor in dodge, um, 
so I can get that movement speed, get out of there, and regen my armor. But with this dodge build, I hardly get hit, and I will show a really good example later on um, of how I don't get hit with this dodge build. Um, so I actually have a few clips to show, and I might just show the full game playing its entirety. So I did slow it down last time, so... Um, yeah, this is, I think it'd be a lot better just show the clip in its entirety, just so I can show you guys the full action sequence, to show how these two connect and how they combine. For example, the f I had like two extra skill points, so Optical Illusion, you're 45% less likely to be targeted by enemies, that again helps with the dodge build as well, so, you know, that's kind of good. If you're playing with friends, which is the example I also used in this video, I played with teammates. But either way, and about these skills, I've already explained them, like the Silent Killer, which is you deal an additional 30% more damage. Uh, the first one is 15, then it's another 15, so it's 30% more damage with Silent Killer. And Professional just increases my weapon stability. Either way, let's move on to Fugitive. So, Fugitive, the only skills I got were the Gunslinger ones. And it might be over the top to pick all of them, but trust me, these are very important. Let me tell you why. It's so Equilibrium. Decrease the time it takes to draw and holster pistols. Uh, these actually work with your Kimbo pistols as well. Um, these draw it out quicker. So if you run out of ammo with your Kimbos, you can quickly switch to your um, secondary pistol and spray off with a secondary pistol. Uh, a Kimbo, obviously, because I'm using a Kimbo weapons as, at the same time. Your Kimbo weapon stability penalty is reduced by eight. By eight, yeah. And then your Akimbo Weapon Stability and Penalty is reduced by an additional 8. They also have 50% increased ammo capacity. So that increases the ammo and it reduces the weapon stability by 16, which is really, really good. Gun Nuts, so this just increases the uh, magazine sizes in in the pistol. And also get a rate of fire from it as well, which is both very good, both the basic and the ace version. One-handed talent, so the base damage of all pistols is increased by 5, and the base damage of all pistols is increased by additional 10. Combine this with Silent Killer as well, really, really helpful with the pistols, that's why I went for that one. That was the old Equilibrium, but they changed it. Um, Desperado, so each successful pistol hit you, uh, gives you a 10% increase in bonus for 10 seconds that can stack 4 times. So this is really good if you have a good aim, uh, you can just pop, pop, if, you know, Few pistol shots and it increases in damage that's really good for things like bulldozers uh, the more times you're shooting the bulldozer the more you're hitting it uh, the more damage it'll do to it so you can take out bulldozers quicker and lastly trigger happy so for every hit with the pistol you gain a plus 20 percent damage boost that lasts two seconds stacks up to four times and the damage boost duration is increased to 10 seconds that's a lot of seconds it's a lot of time you have for increased damage so desperado and trigger happy are pretty much linked as well um, so yeah, so Desperado gives you the accuracy bonus, and then you got Trigger Happy, which is the damage bonus. My apologies, I've got Desperado and uh, um, Trigger Happy missed about. But Desperado gives you accuracy, and Trigger Happy gives you damage. So both very important there. So um, yeah, that is the Silent Killer pistol build there. But now I'm going to show you the alternative build. So the first gameplay is going to be the. Um, the pistols, the silent killer builds. I'm probably going to go over the um, pistols with inspire build just for you. This is the more of the support uh, play. This also includes combat, doctor, you know, the job double medic bags, and also the first aid kits. So this is more to help out your team than it is to do damage. But with the bronco pistol being um, the second most powerful secondary weapon in the game, I thought it'd be impossible. Well, in terms of pistols, my bad as a pistols because the Mateva is technically the best pistol um the bronco uh, well the Mateva isn't accessible to everyone so i thought the bronco would be the best choice for um for weapons so either way let's get into it so the pistol spy i'm using the same again um but this time i'm using grinder but i need to mention i'm using grinder because there's no dodge involved in this build at all uh, like i said this is more to support your teammates and grinder is really useful for getting out of sticky situations so, the only changes really, I have more enforcers skills, for example, Resilience, Transporter, and Bullseye. I, was, I still have Steady Grip from last time. I still have Second Wind, and I have the, not Ace, um, Duck and Cover, but I do have the um, normal Duck and Cover, which is your stamina starts regenerating 25% earlier and 25% faster. And you also regen, you also sprint 25% faster. And I have Parkour and Dying as usual. And Fugitives, they all stay the same. 
but the only change with this are the enforcer skills which allow which give me a better armor recovery rate so i'm using grinder and reduce the visual effect duration of flashbangs to 75 percent gives me you know an edge if anyone flashbang flashbangs me um doesn't really do much and then transporter i can throw bags 50 percent faster and because i'm using um a suit um, and so I shoot and a lightweight ballistic vest, I can carry bag bags faster, which is also really, really useful. Um, some might say oh, I could just use the suit, but then yet again, resilience wouldn't be much help. If I was to take off resilience for something else, I may put it in lock and load again, but yet again, um, or just the primary one. So if I was just, if I could take that off and use it into lock and load, but to be honest with you, with this, with this skill, I don't really find locker loaders useful um, as it would be if it was a silent killer if I was spraying a lot with a pistol so with uh, the Bronco I tend to aim down my sights and shoot so that wouldn't really be helpful um, so yeah that's why I went for resilience but yeah mastermind I went up the combat medic tree and I painkillers combat doctor and inspire which is of course to shout people up so painkillers combat doctor and inspire haven't changed and combat medic hasn't as well um, I don't know if Combat Medic has a bit, um, I did cover this in another video, so you can go and watch my full breakdown of the skills, but either way, I've gone down the Combat Medic side of the Medic tree um, to help out my team. So yeah, those are pretty much the skills guys, I'm now going to go into some gameplay, talk over the skills and how they both like, are similar to the which, which build I prefer to use as well, so I do prefer, and use, prefer using a certain build, so yeah, let's get into the gameplay real quick. Okie okay, dokie guys, so this is the part of the video that I'm going to be breaking down the uh, breaking down the gameplay and talking about the skills that I used and all sorts um, and just showing you the combat situation. This is the first build that I showed you guys um, in the video, this is the silent killer build. So as you see I'm rocking the um, the chim suppressed and the baby deagle suppressed. So these two pistols do a lot of damage with silent killer. Uh, this shield here was taking the absolute piss out of me. I, f I fucking hate shields, but um, got him in the end, and uh, got him. I'm just going to be showing you a few examples in this video as well of the, me using the uh, builds, like clearing out this room as well, for example. I do have trigger happy, and I was missing a lot in this video, um, which kind of doesn't help the example of trigger happy and Despera just desperado, because I, 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 my aim was pretty off that day. I do apologize, but um, yeah, if you have a really good aim, for example, like taking out those snipers and stuff, that is really, really useful. Um, obviously, with the accuracy stability, accuracy and stability with um, the technician first skill, that could really help you take out the long ranger um, opponents as well. So do keep that in mind when there's snipers and stuff. You can use this build for long range, which is really, really helpful. Um, I'm popping off guards left, right, and center. Because Silent Killer with any weapon is just an absolute beast. Even on a light machine gun, it's an absolute demon. So, um, yeah, Silent Killer all around is usually not a hard class to cover. I mean, not a really hard build to cover. All you got to do is whack it on and just see for yourself how overpowered it is. Um, but it's supposed to be that way, you know? It's supposed to be that way. But um, not overpowered to the sense it's the only skill that, or skills that people use in the game. Um, and also just a quick sign out, if there is any lag in this video, I do apologise, my game was being so, so glitchy, I have no idea, uh, when I was playing it, I do have a more smoother gameplay with, um, Slaughterhouse, um, to show you, so, do, just, just, hopefully, the Slaughterhouse gameplay should be fine, because when I was playing it, it was fine, so yeah, the first World Bank gameplay was super laggy, I do apologise, I should have recorded another gameplay, uh, but I don't have time, but, um, yeah, so what was what was I saying? Um, ah, what was I saying? What was my point that I was making? Silent Killer all around is just a great, great, um, great skill tree to use. Great skills to use. Really recommend you use it. Doesn't matter what weapon you use, they're just absolute demons. So yeah, it's one of those things where you just have to whack it on and see for yourself how all amazing this. Oh yeah, that was the point I was making. Silent Killer isn't that overpowered really because I don't see that being used all the time like it's not the uh, build that you, that's used all the time so um that's why i've kind of incorporated the louder build as well because i do use loud pistols in the second half of the video or the next part of the video so obviously i'll give you guys a quick demonstration of oh i don't use silent killer or oh i don't use you know i don't use um 
just I, I use silent kill. I don't use normal like loud pistols. So that's why I'm kind of uh, that's why I did these two builds to kind of um because I knew there'd be some people who'd be wondering that there will be similarities and differences to if you were to use silent killer and these dodge builds. And obviously in the next gameplay, I'm sacrificing dodge for grinder and inspire and combat medic. So you have to really keep that in mind. So yeah, back on topic with the video. Um, I was using first aid kits. Um, they really helped out a lot. And um, yeah, this is pretty much the gameplay. Um, if I was to give any praise, it would definitely be to um duck and run whatever that um skill is i'm just looking at the gameplay right now and talking not at the game but um to run in any direction is so so helpful i mean it's so useful so um yeah especially on bank uh, jobs like first world banquet there's a lot of cover around you um a lot of places to get in and out of sticky situations it seriously helps out a shit ton it is so so useful to use um the dodge builds as well um as you can see in the videos i was hardly getting hit i do go down a few times to cloakers or when i'm in a really bad situation there's just too many enemies firing at me to, for my dodge to actually work so um yeah those are the only situations that the dodge isn't useful is when it's you're just surrounded by shit ton of enemies which is also good to give give out as much damage as you can before you go down so that's another key thing to keep in mind um for some reason this gameplay i did have a uh, medic medic uh bags little little medi bags and uh i don't know why that is so i'll have to look into some extra research for you guys um because i did have to rebuild the builds because i forgot to actually record the uh, me making the builds for you guys and then go to the gameplay i recorded the gameplay first then i switched up the builds using the same builds so i kind of cocked up on my part i do apologize um but i did bring little first aid kits uh, but really the it was just, i was just i had used this i had the silent killer build skills I had the um, technician skills. I had like the dodge, but yeah, I had the dodge skills, silent killer skills. So those are pretty much what mattered, and I didn't really use that many first aid kits. So it's a good thing I didn't really use many, just so then I could give a good, good demonstration of how these skills actually work with silent killer, because that's a really important part of this video is to compare silent killer to a normal pistol build. So that is the pistol build there. You've seen loads of examples of me dodging enemies and stuff and how it works well. But now I'm going to show you my next build which is the uh grinder build and the more support build with doctor bags and stuff and uh with mini meds so i'm going to show you that gameplay right now so guys we are moving on to the second build that i used which was more of the support build and i was using grinder and i was using loud weapon like loud weapons basically as you can see here i'm using and destroying people with the bronco 44 pistol uh bronco is like i said uh, if you don't have the Mateva pis pistol, it is the most powerful pistol in the game. So, if you're looking to use this build, I recommend using the Bronco pistol, because it is super, super powerful. Um, and the prime weapons I'm using are the Akimbo Crossfire pistols. Or the, sorry, the Crosskill pistols. Um, which, to me, are my favourite pistols to use in Lao pistols. Uh, I do like using the Deagles as well, but ultimately, I really enjoyed using... Uh, these pistols more just because they have more ammo um, and Deagles run out of ammo a lot quicker um, but yeah this all house gameplay was just so then I could show you guys the alternative of Lou using louder pistols um, but yeah I'm using I'm playing on slaughterhouse as well um, as you can see in just a second a bulldozer is going to pop out and I'm just going to destroy this bulldozer pretty much uh, as you can see he gets up on the floor I'm like hey what's that dude and I kill him so um yeah, the, and I took about like four shots of the Bronco. That is pretty much the advantage with Trigger Happy because it stacks and stacks of damage, especially with the uh, with the um, what do you call it? The Bronco as well. The Bronco is such a good pistol. I'm just gonna keep praising the Bronco. I hardly use the Akimbo pistols in this gameplay because the Bronco is so good. Um, but yet again, I just wanted to show you this for it because obviously you are sacrificing. Um, Rogue, which is the, the dodge perk deck, and obviously all the dodge skills for Grinder and all of the uh, Inspire skills and stuff to help your team out. So, this is the bit of the video that I'm going to talk about the most because um, this is actually quite important for those who want to help out your team more. Um, and what skill tree I prefer, I think out of the two builds, if you already have someone who has Inspire, for example, in the first world bank gameplay, both my friends Lewis and Matt 
both had Inspire, they could, if I went down, they could both help me up. But the only problem with that is that I now have Inspire, so if both of them went down, I can't fucking help them. It, although if I was to um, heal them, I highly doubt my dodge would hold for that long to heal both of them. Or if I was to heal one of them, and then one would um, inspire the other up. So if they went down in front of a bulldozer and a bunch of enemies, they'd pretty much be screwed. There would be no way I could get them. I'd probably have to solo the highs myself. Or well, you never know. I could get cloakered or something like that. And I could go down and I don't have... or And they, they've both gone down. You know, so that's, it's kind of a risk you have to take when you're taking the Silent Killer build. But either way, you have a shit ton of damage to deal with as well, because you have the Silent Killer build. Uh, and with this one, it's more of a support build. It's more of a support player. You're sacrificing damage, even though in this build, because you have, because you have Trigger Happy and Desperado, you already have damage. And that is the key part into what I'm about to say right now, is that the second build is actually better than the Silent Killer build, and it destroys the Silent Killer build. Yes, it does take away the dodge, but yet again, um, you don't really need dodge if you have Inspire. If you can get the kills and just sit behind cover, regen health, um, and if your teammates have Inspire to get you up, and then if you have Inspire to get your teammates up, that's more important. If you, if you have combat um, doctor as well for the bags and stuff, minute bags, two minute bags are important. Or could, like I said, you could sacrifice that and take um, med medic... Um, Little, little, little doctor bags, little doctor bags to use. So that's also a really good thing to keep in mind as well, is that you're sacrificing your equipment as well. So, yeah, I think in my opinion, the second build is a lot better to go for if you want a better pistol build. Because we're talking about pistol builds here and dodge builds. But um, in, as a dodge build, the first example is very, very good, I say, for the, for the people who are commenting. Um, the first um, pistol build, dodge build, is very, very good for dodge and is the recommended, in my opinion, just for dodge. But then also, if you want to be a support player, using this pistol build as my second gameplay is also the best way to go. So, also keep that in mind. So, yeah guys, that is going to top up the video. That is going to sum it up. I do like the second pistol build better, uh, but yet again, the silent killer builds is really, really fun to use. I, I also recommend you use those as well. Try out both of these builds and let me know how you feel with them. Uh, if there's anything you want me, anything other, I say this every um, build video I do. If you have a certain build you want me to cover that I haven't covered yet, please leave your comment down below. I really want to hear uh, what build you want me to cover. And uh, yeah. For the last time, thanks for watching, guys, and I appreciate you watching the video. I appreciate you clicking like and subscribe. Uh, and if you haven't already, please feel free to subscribe. I work very hard on these videos to make for you, and I appreciate some support back, just even a like and a comment would do. So, yeah, guys, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy, and goodbye. Happy heisting.